they start to need repacking and uh, I'm going to have a look at it tomorrow well not coming to, I might got a visitor coming tomorrow and I just tried it started it the first time for a long while and uh, it blows this out you see so it needs repacking on my neck anyway as of a bit of news it's mainly you can watch me do this because I've never shown it not that it's very exciting but uh, I'll tell you a bit of news and it's not I thought I was getting a bit fitter I'm not sure I am now because I've I went to um, went to Carrington I think you know that and the first day um, I was a bit tender let's say got there I mean sweating I think I told you then on uh, anyway Monday I was all right and I went back I think I said I can't remember and uh, Talked to a chap, several people, to try and get a pulley from Lister, and I met two, and these have been in my old home, I think I told you that. And I'd arranged with him to go over today and uh, take my Briggs, take Mr. Engine, and show him. You know, he was interested, and I was looking forward to it, of course. Anyway, um, Friday, I thought, oh, I'm not sticking in you know, all day, so I went out and, well, I went to see mate Roy, who you've seen many times, like, and uh, he went in, so I thought, oh, I'm not. Come home, so I had a ride to Market Raisin, not far, and round with Ragby, and because uh, stopped there a little bit in the marketplace at dinner time, and I had a look at that sort of thing, and uh, I was sort of all right, you know. Anyway, it was Raisin Sale yesterday, I went to it, well, on my neck. Now, halfway through this arm, it started to hurt coming home. Well, when I was there, actually, it started to hurt a bit. I wasn't there that long, and it's not that far. Anyway, I thought, well, I'd better come home. And I got halfway home, and it's not that far, like, and I, I nearly had to ring my mates to uh, and tell them to take me home. You know, it was getting serious. So, of course, I can't go to blooming partner today to show him this engine now, can I? Well, that's annoying. Anyway, because someone else phoned up, and they can come, they're coming to have a visit. Tomorrow, so you know, I've got a slight reprieve, I suppose. Anyway, so I just tried this and it needed doing. Um, for another video, I've got to do everything as I say, and oh, everything's getting difficult. And I'm using this hand, as you know, and it's starting to be affected now. On here, got a little bit of carpal tunnel, I think, on that one, but it's it's not much, it's here, it's on that tendon, that finger, and it's no better. I thought it would be by now, so it's going to be, well, in a couple of weeks, I've got another check-up. The nurse, I have to, when I'm there, I'll book another doctor's appointment, I suppose. Go and see what they can do. Apparently, they can, you can get an injection or something. One of my friends had a similar thing, and she said, someone I've known a long while. So, uh we'll see what can be done so it's still unfortunately very not sort of work videos you know and um, as I say I'm mean, in driving I thought I was a bit fitter and could manage but I'm not sure I can so we can go I can go short distances and take you you know for 10 minute drives but that's going to be for a little while I think that's got to be the videos for the future for a little while anyway we'll have to see <coughs> God, it's horrible stuff. And it don't matter how you really are wearing gloves on it. Anyway, that'll do. Now, I've got to see, I'm not putting much of this in, and it doesn't matter if I don't get it in very far at all. Because that can go up the exhaust pipe, can't it? I'll try and poke it in a bit, but poke some of it in. But I did it like this last time and it seemed to, we seemed to manage somehow. It'll screw on I think. But well, there we are, so that's the news anyway, it's a short little video, that's how I pack this sancer now, I've done it a few times. And I pack it tight, like that, and the engine still breathes and it runs and it's dead quiet, so, you know, yep, let's have a... Bit of success, eh? 
one little bit of success. So there you go, I think that's um, all I've got to tell you. Oh, no it isn't, not in. There is something else, isn't there? There is something else. Right, I'll just tell you this. Right, my good mate Andy, who he mentioned, well, he told me about um, solid state hard drive. I didn't know about them, you see, and so uh, I had a look online and everything else. It's, it is a, it's really helpful. It ever so helpful. Thanks, Andy. Really, really thank you. You know, it couldn't have, couldn't have been more helpful. Anyway, and he told me what to do, and he sent me email, and everything. So anyway, I checked it out, and Courier's did one for ninety quid, which was pretty reasonable. But it came. I asked if it got a cable, and it didn't have. So I sent for that and it came yesterday. And uh, I've been online had a look and there's, for this one, it's a Samsung. And there's a couple of decent videos of how to fit it. You know, and Andy told me exactly what to do and I've looked, watched the videos again yesterday. Anyway, I suppose the successful thing is, because when I came home, <coughs> oh, excuse me, it's this dust out this plumbing. Stuff, there's a bit of fiberglass dust in the air, I think. Um, when I came home, I, well, I, I, you know, I went and lay down for an hour and felt a little bit better, like, I felt terrible for a little while. So anyway, I, uh, I managed to fit it and I've got it done. So, you know, for less than £100, I've turned me £270 computer into a 1200 quid one. So, you know, I'm quite happy about that. So I'm just, I'm just mentioning it because some of you may not know about these solid state drives and it's quite a simple job and uh, to do you know and it's been successful you know and it makes them quite a lot faster so as I say I didn't know about it probably you don't all right bit of info for you hopefully see you soon